So welcome back to Digger Detecting, everybody. Welcome also to a nice Sunday morning out on the detectors. And as you can see, we've got steel over the back there, and we've got a wonderful old school site here in front of us to hunt. As you can see, we've got a quite a new building over there built, and that's the community hall. However, originally, as Steele was just saying, the uh, the little weatherboard school, a little two-room school, used to sit right in this a little hollowed-out area right here. And as you can see, we've got the ring road and everything going on around, and our cars parked there, and we still got the original fence of the school these are a dead giveaway too the ring lock fences with the galvanized poles so steel's already in there have you asked permission to be in there buddy you have got permission, have got permission. Oh, that's all right i was going to say i'm i'm doing a bit of a fence jumping here then so this one's on steel if anybody comes along an angry farmer i'll just look at steel and say uh that guy said we could <laughs> so anyway let's get started uh, last time steel was here the grass was up super tall up around to the fence there uh, so he really could not do anything in here but out on the ring road there he did snag a couple of pennies uh, so i'm sure there's stuff here we just need to find it let's get started all right so we've only walked about what 15 20 meters into the schoolyard so far and we've got a nice standout tone. Listen to that. It's got to be a penny, mate. Or a pendant. 75, 76 hanging around. Or a bit of rubbish. But look, I'm thinking we're going to hit it. Hit it really hard here today. And I'm thinking we're going to do really good. And not so much on the... Yes. Not so much on the rubbish, but the coins. Look at that. Straight away. Isn't that awesome? That's a Commonwealth penny. And as you've seen, we've just walked straight down here, this being our first decent target. And look at that, we can see the coin impression he's been sitting there. So, little country schools, I tell you what, they are gold mines. And I've done so many in the past. I uh, Look, I get really excited every time I get to go to a country school. We didn't even check the date on that. What are we doing? We're just trying to bag him, snag him, and move on to the next. Let's have a look. 1922, I think it is. Steele, do you know the history of this school too, mate? Is it Was it late 18, early 1900s built? I, I don't, sorry. Um, I, I come up here for a bit of a hunt knowing that there was a, um, knowing that there was a community hall here and it had a bit of history. Yep. Um, and then it was actually Such later on that... Uh, noisy cows. I pointed out that, yeah, there was a school here too. I had no idea that the school was here. But... Should have asked me, mate. I would have told you. <laughs> yeah. I had it mapped out already. So when uh, when Steele told me about this site there the other week at our uh, dig detecting event, he said, oh, Luke, have you done the such and such school? Have you got it mapped out on your map? And I said, uh, well, I pulled up my map and uh, bingo, I had it mapped out. However, I have never actually been here. So there we go. I had researched it. I just never done anything about it. Like a lot of my uh, sites that I've got to hunt in future. Let's keep going. Let's get onto a silver if we can now. Steele, listen to that. Yeah, what do you got? I don't know. But that sounds exciting. That's going to be a florin, mate. That could be a florin. Yeah, it could even be a cow tag here today. Because uh, they would have had to keep the grass down somehow at this school. So they may have had a cow here. Let's see what we got. It's going to be another coin, I reckon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Even better. We found the commando. Wow. The toy car commando. No way. How cool is that, mate? That is cool. One wipe of the finger. You can see the commando. I think he's missing a few wheels too. Very well done. That's awesome. That is awesome. That's why it was ringing up so high. We got the toy car. The little commando. Uh, unreal. All right, well, let's keep going. As I said, the school was about here, sitting in this little space. So we're currently working, well, just about around the school, but I'm excited to get down the back there because you think about where all the kids would have played and, uh, you know, sheltered under the shade on a hot day. And I believe, or believe me, it would have got hot down here during summer. So anyway, let's keep going. A penny, a little toy, a commando car. What are we going to find next? Well, I hate to do it to steal, but there we go. We've just got our first, or our second coin, but our first one being silver. And look at the impression coming out. And I just said to steal, well, I didn't even mean that, sorry, mate. That was just an accident. 1946, that guy. Little sixpence. How awesome is that? And uh, look, yesterday I was there hunting, uh, out hunting all day in the rain, and I really struggled. I only got one silver coin in about a four-hour session. So... 
If, uh, if one silver coin's already coming out in, what, 10 minutes, plus a little toy car, commando car, and a little penny, I think we're on a gold mine today. All right, well, Steele's got his first coin, but it's not a coin. It, uh, it turns out to be actually a token. And tell me, Steele, what happened at the event there, mate? We were up at Wanyara camping. We had the digit detecting event, and we decided to go hunt an old pub. And what happened? There was, uh, what, three, four of us? Yeah, yeah, so we went for a night hunt after the competition, and... Um... Yeah, I, I hit a target and I heard Luke come come straight across. He heard the he heard the tone and he comes straight across. So I knew I had something decent at that point. Um, and yeah, I found my first first couple of tokens that night. So I was and then stoked. the next day, what happened? You found, found another <laughs> couple of tokens there too. Just just three merchant tokens in less than twenty four hours in the one bloody paddock with four other detectorists around and no one else got one but steel. So, and that was your first three or first ever tokens found. Yeah, they were, definitely. So, and you found... for a while and ticked them off, so. Ticked them off. One, two, three in a row. <laughs> well done. So, Steel's just got another coin, though. And it's not a coin, though. It's another bloody token. So, mate, I'm going to dub you the token king from now on. <laughs> so, to tokens everywhere you go. Uh, he's got a beautiful little $1 gold coin, or the shape of $1 gold coin, uh, to the value of a dollar gold coin. And it is a little token. It's got a kangaroo on the back there. And on the other side, it's got a stray with a bit of wattle leaf so token king steel well done mate Thanks, that's four tokens now every time i go hunting with this guy i tell you what the tokens come out all righty guys here we are with steel and we're out for a night hunt as you can see steel what did you just have come up on the detector mate solid 32 solid 32 you know what that means to me on the equinox 800 that means token, buddy. And uh, look, there's an old pub right up the front there. You can't see it. It's pitch black dark. But an old pub, a 32, it makes sense. It's going to be a token. He's out. He's definitely out. You in? Yep. Chuck over here. In the plug. Back in the hole. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Yeah. Where's your target gone? Let's have a jewel. No, nah, you're still in the hole, Steel. What are you doing out of the hole? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That's a token. Congratulations, mate. Thanks, mate. You just first found your token. first merchant token. Yep. Yep. So, and what's time? Uh, 10 o'clock at night, and we're out hunting behind a pub. So, just have a look at him, just quickly. That's definitely a merchant token because it's 36 millimeter in diameter and you can tell that straight away just by the size of it. That's a, oh, it's a hard one to read. It's gonna say Victoria on the back there. I think it's gonna be a peace and plenty token. So definitely a merchant token. Can I just give him a rub on the pants there? Absolutely. Just a light rub. And I still can't see nothing. Oh, I think that's either a Holloway's. I can see the, the circle around it. So he's going to have the line in the middle. Really hard one to clean up. And I don't want to do too much cleaning without water. So hang on to him, mate. You've definitely got yourself a merchant token, though. Awesome. So 31, 32, uh, out in the gold, old gold fields area, behind the pub especially. A merchant token all day of the week. So awesome. well done, buddy. Well done. That's Someone was sweet. off to the pub to buy something. They lost their token. They couldn't buy anything. So, and you found it some 150 years on. Yeah, it's pretty right, cool. We'll get yeah, back to camp, cool. we'll give him a clean up, and we'll suss out what he is. Well, what did we just say about Steel being the token king? I just walked off to go detecting again, and uh, he's just got another loud signal. <gasps> you haven't. You have so. Another one. Same. What is Same with you? Absolute unreal. So, the token king, Steel. There we go, another token. I just said to him too, how amazing would it be if you found a merchant token uh, from the, you know, the gold rush era down here. Not saying you could, but not saying you can't either. Uh, but just as I was saying it, there he goes. He plucks out his second token. So five tokens now five, yep. in our two hunts that we've done together. You're bloody unreal. I'm getting away from you. I'm going back down the hill. Rightio guys, so here we are back again and uh, look, what you did not just see is uh, we caught up with a bloke, a local at the old school and he mentioned that there was a working bee on today so we thought best to get out of there and try hit up a new site a Steel's got a new site for us and uh, it's coming up right now through the bumpy paddock It is so boggy in here, isn't it? It is Wow 
Uh, so we've got an old house over the back there and this is once again one of Steele's permissions. Uh, so if any angry farmer comes along and tells us to get out of here with a gun, I'm just going to point to steel. Uh, so uh, look, wonderful old house site as you can see there and the grass is at a perfect height. We're going to have a lot of fun here I'm sure. So we'll keep getting over, when we get out of the car we'll show you a look around and we'll get detectors out and make a start. So let's have a look at the old house shall we? Uh, what a ripper it is too. We've got some old Hoffman bricks on the uh, on the ground, which are standard. They're commonplace. You see those guys everywhere. Hoffman. I think they were made in Melbourne. I don't know. So we've got some old glass there. Uh, we've got a heap of, well, heap of the house all falling down. Let's have a look around the chimney here. That's really cool. I always love the chimney places. They sort of help date the old houses too. You can sort of put a timeline as to when, when they may have been built. And this one does not look as old as some of the ones that we've seen in the past. There's no bluestone footings, it's all concrete and it's all the modern, well, the more modern bricks. So don't know what age this house is gonna be. I just asked Steel there before too. He's not 100% uh, sure. A pretty cool old place though. And look at this ground. The cows have been in here, uh, you know, walking around uh, during the wet weather and they've been bogging it up. So we're really gonna have a bit of a battle swinging the coil through this. We're just gonna do the best we can. This would be a great site for the 18 inch coil, wouldn't it? We've got heaps of room to move and not much interference. We don't have it with us today. We can bring it back next time we're here though. So fruit trees, uh, look, some other trees, some weeping willows, but it looks down the back there. We've got some agapanther bulbs. Uh, we've got it all going on. So, and the poor old house falling down. Hey, I reckon I'd get on the roof from here. Hey Mara, get off the dang roof. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. I get so easily distracted, don't I? Let's keep going. And uh, we just did find our first coin, so we'll show you a look at that. But we are looking for our next coin. Oh, these flies are ridiculous too. I just hit the camera. The flies are relentless here. I don't know what it is. We did just find our first coin and we're looking for our next one. And our next one hopefully be a little bit older. Because as you can see, that's a $2 gold coin. What's he doing there? So there we go, $2 gold coin for our first target here. Let's see if we can't snag something older. For the next all right well, we've got our next cool piece straight after the stirrup and uh, tell you what these flies are relentless let me give you a look how many are uh, humming around on steel there hey steel stop for a sec where are they there they are you got about 28 on your back <laughs> I tell you what, they're almost as bad as the day we're in the uh, in the gold fields with Andrew and Luke from I Dig That 73. They were relentless that day as well. Uh, so it might even push me to go get a fly net this week. Uh, so there we go though, our next nice little find. He looks like a little brooch and unfortunately just cleaning him, I broke off uh, the, uh, the little end of the arrow, didn't I? So what a shame. Little love heart though with an arrow through it. That is really, really cool. And as I said to Steel, if we, uh, if we sifted the dirt close enough, we may even find a little stone that used to be inside in, uh, in the middle there. So maybe not, maybe he was broken and discarded that way. Cool little piece though, into the pouch. We'll get you on to the next. Oh, Steel's got the next cool find. What'd you say it was, mate? Yeah, a watch. A watch, fob watch, part of. Look at all these flies too, oh, don't move. Ridiculous. Unbelievable. Let's knock him off his back so they hum around his face. Well, I did have a shower this morning too. <laughs> so, so did I. <laughs> I even put hair wax on. I think that's uh, working against me too because the flies can smell all the hair wax. So they're just attacking me. Well, I've found a lot of brass over the years, but I've never ever found a piece like this. I have no idea what it's for. It's got a number two stamped up the top. He looks like a bit of a wedge. You can see how he's tapered thick down to thin down to the bottom past my little finger oh i have to keep shaking my heads and uh, shaking my head and shooing these flies away they are just crazy i don't know why either so not even a hot day go away flies and number two at the top though and as i said little wedge uh, look little chalk or something i don't know what it is anybody out there recognize it though be sure to drop a comment below as uh, as i'd love to know for future so let's keep going but before we do let's have a, a stop and a bite to eat for lunch Alrighty, so look out. Steel has got the first coin for this site. Well, the second coin, but the first old one for this site are puddling around over the back here in the rain. Uh, look, the flies are still with you too, mate. So, oh, it's in horrible condition. What's been going on to that coin? 1913, I can read. Nah, 1943 it'll be, because he's a weedy. So he's got the wheat stalk, so he's got to be a 43. So 13, he'd have the coat of arms on him. So well done, mate, well done. First bloody silver. 
Second coin. Oh, I got the first one, but it's a two dollar gold coin. It's not what we want to see. So well done to Steel, first silver coin. And I was just sitting over there explaining, uh, look, I don't really think that this site has great age. You know, we have not found anything uh, thus far, you know, apart from that silver, that is the best find and the first old coin. And look, judging by the brick chimney there, the Hoffman bricks, they're not that old. Uh, so I dare put this site around, look, 1930s, 1940s, probably more about the 1950s onwards. So we may only be touching on, what, 70 years of history here. Uh, but as you've seen, steel's got a little thrippance, so we know the old coins are here. It may just be, well, not very many of them. So we're just going to keep going and see what else we can find. I'd love to see a penny come out and uh, any other coin that we can get to come out. It might just help a paint a picture of a date and a timeline for this site. So that is our next find, and not a silver coin. We'll still take him anyway. Alrighty, alrighty, settle down, don't get too excited, just like I am anyway. Uh, we just got the great, well, he was out from here behind the hole. Uh, behind the hole we've just got open, uh, but look at what we just got out of that next hole. Sure way fly, the rain stopped and now the flies are back. Australian Military Forces uniform button. Wow, isn't that cracker? And as I said, he was right beside the big old grate that we just found. Uh, so a sneaky little signal hiding beside the grate. If we had not dug that high signal with the grate, we would not got the button, would we? So that is awesome. And as I said, we've still got another little high signal over the back here. Maybe that's a uniform badge. Who knows? Maybe it's another button. Maybe it's another great find. Let's find out. Where's all the gold sovereigns still? In the walls. In the walls? Yeah. I'm looking, I can't see them. Oh dear. We thought that was a treasure box then. We're just having a look in through the house here. And uh, I spotted it, and then Steele spotted it, and he goes, oh, I wonder what's in that. I was already onto it looking, uh, but it turns out it's just a just a log. <laughs> we, we both thought it was a treasure box. Look, there's another treasure box under, under there, mate. No, jokes, it's just a log. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're going to find anything in here. We're looking just quickly for bottles or anything, you know, cool. Uh, that may have been tucked in underneath here. But uh, look, I don't think so. So we've got the old door there. Uh, no bottles, no nothing else. The floor is still intact. Oh, what's this over here, eh? We've got a snake in a barrel. Actually, that's an old toilet. Oh, found the toilet, Steel. <laughs> Someone's really had a go. They've blown out the bottom. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Ew, can't believe I touched that. Oh, I've still got a sandwich to eat yet. I've still got lunch to have or finish. What's under here, a snake? Can't see any. Do you know when I was a kid? You seen a snake, didn't you? What are you seeing? Bottles. You mean to tell me I'm walking all over stuff that I didn't even realise was there? That's an old tomato sauce bottle. It is too, Rosella. There we go. And that dates once again, sort of what we were saying about with the chimney, a 1950s. He's got the screw top, he's got spiders all over him. And he'll have the little castle on the base. Little AGM castle. Geez, even the flies are bad inside here. Oh no, it's Heinz. So there we go. Here's a source though. Propriety of Heinz. And I can see the little AGM castle in the middle there. So, Steel, you want a bottle? No oh, there you go, mate. Let's see if we can find an older one for you though. Can't believe I walked over the top of that. So she's definitely a fixer-upper. Needs a lot of work. Ooh, look at that nail sticking up. There's a good tetanus shot for you. Try not to stand on him. Because I've done that before and I've had a nail nearly come out the top of my foot and it hurts, trust me. Especially when the nurse squirts all the saline solution and with a big needle up through it the next day. It hurts a lot. So anyway, let's get back into it. Let's see what else we can find. Enough in the house there. And as I said, I don't think it's showing the age that we really want it to show. And we'll keep puddling around though and just see what else we can find. Oh, he's done it, he's done it. Look at that bad boy. I know a copper coin when I see one any day of the week, and there it is. We've just come out from the house, as you've seen, we we're just pulling around in there, and we're trying to fix it up and, uh, and live in there for future. It's not going to happen. Uh, but look, there we go. We've got our first coin just coming out from the house there, 
and that is horrible condition but that's getting me excited because that is our first pre-decimal coin here for today steel's got one he's got little thrippins but i'm still yet to nail a coin or an old coin anyway we've got the two dollar gold coin as soon as we walked in so there we go our first old coin for the old house site that's not even that old well, someone's on fire with the coins now, aren't they? Look at that. We've just done a full circle, a full lap right around the house. And bingo, we've got our next coin coming out from the garden. I was hoping it'd be uh, the wife's ring, but it's not. 1955 Rue Penny. And once again, it dates around that timeline of what I was thinking. About 1950s for this house site. Uh, that uh, The chimney just does not look that old and neither does the house. And the Hoffman bricks tell a bit of a story too. So soon as we popped that plug out, I knew that was going to be a coin. Look at the coin impression, how neat. So we're just humming around under the marmbury tree at the moment. We're going to keep going a little bit further. Those bloody flies are out in force still, and now the rain's disappeared. It's just starting to come back too, but I don't think they're going to run away somehow. So let's keep going a little bit further, and uh, look, we are nearly out of time. We've got to be another half an hour. So let's see if we can't turn that copper into a silver. Well, look out, this might be a silver coin right here. We may have a bit of a coin spill. We've got the uh, rue penny out from there, and it seems like... It seems like. Where does it seem like? There. <laughs> seems like we got another coin, but we don't. It's a rusty nail. Why was that singing up so nice? Oh, hang on, hang on. Hold your horses there. We may have something else. Another rusty nail. That's not right. What's going on? That's rust there too. Hear the pinpointer blanking out. So in this scenario, I'm going to bag the two bits of rust. We're going to run back over the detector, see what signal we've got, whether it was playing funny buggers with us or not, or whether we are, or do actually have another coin here. I think we're having funny buggers play with us somehow. What do you got, Steel? Just rubbish, mate. You're looking very sus there, buddy. Just rubbish. Just rubbish. It's uh, sleeve off that old axle, possibly. It would be, actually, yep. Yep, hub, it's a hub sleeve off a wheel and cart, horse and cart. And we just found part of the old axle at the top there. So here comes the rain. Let's hope the flies disappear. Probably not. Rightio guys, so unfortunately that is enough for us today. That is going to wrap it up. And as you can see, that rain is here to stay. It's, uh, it's turned into a horrible day, hasn't it, Steel? The flies are still here too. Show us your back, mate. Uh, one, two, three, four five the fifth one's looking for somewhere to land <laughs> so the flies are still here regardless of the rain as i said that's set in all day so as you've seen we've been humming around the old house here today and uh, look we've had a cracker of a time and uh, we've had a good afternoon at the house and we've had a great morning at the school and the old school we will be back to again in future we just need to wait until it's not a working bee day uh, which we did not know about so little commando car there we've got the stirrup we've got the uh, the old brass plug really cool coming from the farm here a part of the old hook oh, well, the old spigot tap, I was going to say part of the old spigot tap, but he is complete. He's just missing the little square tap handle to go up, up the top that would have turned him on and off. And we also had the fishing reel. Now, this is really, really cool. And uh, not often that you see him with the old braided line still in the uh, in the centre there, still wrapped around. So we're not too far off the coast. How far are we still? About 10k? Maybe yeah, not even? Yeah, not even. Not even, off the coast. So you can see what the farmer's been doing in his spare time. There's even a river down there. So he's probably been wandering down to the river or catching a bit of dinner. So we had the old um, uh, hook lock. He would add a little hook at the one end. Uh, also, a little buckle there. We had the old gantry hook by the looks of it. He just coming out towards the end and he is very cool. I've never ever found anything like that. Had a couple of uh, grates at the back there, which you've seen coming out before the old wedge with a number two on it. I don't know what that guy was. He's a nice bit of brass. We had a couple of pennies that you've seen coming out. Little buckle, $2 coin, the love heart uh, brooch. Uh, two of my favorite finds though for today and one coming from the old house here and one coming from the school. And that is the military Australian forces uniform button and the little silver sixpence. What a bloody ripper. And so look, uh, we've had a great day. It's been a lot of fun. A big shout out thank you to Steele for the invite. Thanks mate Thanks for uh, down. you take me to the best places you always look after me <laughs> so look it's been a great day Steele's had some great finds he's got some bottles up the back there to take home and he got the little thrippence that you've seen there before the 1943 for memory so look great day as said it is 
Uh, that rain is setting in for the day though. So look, it's two o'clock. We're going to get out of here. I've got some work clothes to go and do before I start work Monday tomorrow. And Steele's got to go drop his daughter off. So look, out of here now. We'll be back here again for future and I look forward to seeing you then. Cheers. Thank you.